it is really important to pay attention to low blood sugars because hypoglycemia can kill a patient today. If you do have patients with hypoglycemia, work just as hard to eliminate the hypoglycemia as you do to eliminate the hyperglycemia. The hypoglycemia can kill them tomorrow. The hyperglycemia, if you control it, maybe they will have a different outcome over 10 years. So we just have to be equally focused. It is quite common for people to have low blood sugar at three or four o'clock in the morning and not have symptoms because they're asleep, um, but, um, but that is the gateway by which they develop asymptomatic hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia at night uh, often drives the development of hypoglycemia during the day. When you hear a patient who has blood sugars in the 50s and 60s or, or lower, uh, that um, that uh, says that they don't have symptoms, that's a really scary marker. That's called asymptomatic hypoglycemia. We have so many drugs now that we do not have to accept hypoglycemia as a, as a sort of integral part of diabetes care. And we'll talk about simplification of regimens, de-intensification of regimens, and then uh, technologies, uh, glucagon and GLP-1 receptor agonists as potential techniques to avoid hypoglycemia. So the combination of GLP-1 receptor agonists uh, and uh, basal insulin uh, gets you to lower A1Cs with less hypoglycemia and less weight gain. I mean, that's a miracle. Lower A1C with less hypoglycemia, even on the same amount of exposure to insulin. Um, so that's, that's a very important innovation. And lastly, in this modern era where we have continuous glucose monitoring available, if you have a patient that's treated with sulfonylurea or insulin, if you have any hint that hypoglycemia is a problem, you can do a diagnostic CGM, have the patient wear the CGM for a week or two, and, and just explore.